Hello guys and gals, this is Martin. We're gonna play another part of Dark Souls Remastered, the first Dark Souls. Um, today I thought we, we're we going into the catacombs. Um, this is one of my least favorite places because I don't like the skeletons being brought back to life as soon as long as the necromancers live, which can be a problem. Um, what I want to do today is just rush down to the first boss of the catacombs and kill Pinwheel, which is the first boss. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you, I hope I can remember every jump and, and shortcut step correctly, else this will be a fantastic failure. But we'll see. We will see. Um, depending on how good I play this, how well I play this, uh, this might be a pretty short episode. Don't need this. Don't have any other ring. Um, yay. So we're taking... You're still not... You've still not gotten down. Okay. So since you're still here, we're going into the catacombs. Let's jump down here like we did in the very first episode. There is the exit, there is the exit. So this will be pretty fast and I'll show you a small trick which I will explain after we went through it. We won't gather these items because I think they're just soul items, nothing really important. I'm gonna run, run, run. run a bit more. And the thing is, down here, skeletons will be revived. There are a handful of necromancer guys who will bring the skeletons back to life, which can be a problem. And we don't want any of this. So we're gonna run here. There is a room with the first necromancer. As soon as we enter the room, we're gonna log out of the game. If you do this, every enemy will be reset to its original starting place. Um, now, if we re-enter the room, yeah, yeah, we can kill the necromancer without the skeleton guys running into our backs. So you don't, ouch! These guys have a chance to drop their uh, lantern thing, the skull lantern, which will be quite important in the next region below the catacombs, the Tomb of the Giants, which is my absolutely least favorite portion of the game, because it's pitch black, and I just don't like it. I even like Blight Town more. Yes, I said it. So, okay. What we do now is, now we can kill the skeletons without problem and they will not come back, but we're gonna be fast, run up here, gonna take the shield just in case, let's see if this works out for us, go here, come on, cross over the bridge and then roll down here. Get away from the skull, because they explode. Then we go down here. Uh, if you come down here in human form... What the fuck? Okay. Don't do it. If you come down here in human form, you can... <laughs> you can summon Paladin... Paladin Leroy... Leroy. I can't speak. Um... Did I summon him? Yeah. And he's quite helpful, A, with the boss, and B, with the stupid wheelie skeletons down here. 
So he can take care of them, I hope. So he already has them on their asses, on his ass, so we gonna go and run. Run, run, run. And this already is the way to the boss. This is the boss folk. Yay. So let's go through. What? Paladin Leroy? Leroy was vanquished. Okay, that's the first. What is wrong with the remastered version? Yeah, whatever. We're gonna use... Oh, wait. We're gonna use our last gold pine resin, because why not? And then we have a necromancer to fuck up. The backstory of this guy is really sad. Really, really sad. Uh, I highly recommend watching Vati Vidya's lore videos on the Dark Souls series. He's doing a great job with this. I will link his channel in the description below. But the story about this guy is really, really a sad one. I forgot to switch off my camera. I'm very sorry. Whatever. So now... Yeah. And that's it. I'm a bit surprised that he managed to actually summon one of his of his copies. Uh, if you're not fast enough, he will summon quite a few of his copies. And yeah, okay. So this is the boss. When you kill him, after you killed him, we get the right of kindling, which is. The thing I mentioned in the first or in the second episode, uh, now we can uh, we can upgrade our bonfires to get 20 esters. And since I don't want to run back, because we simply can't, <laughs> or is there a possibility? Yeah, yeah, there is a possibility, but we, we won't do it. So I'm, I'm very surprised that he managed to summon one of his copies. Usually you hit him once or twice and he's down. Or Paladin Relo Leroy. Why can't I... Why have I so many problems with this name? Uh, the Paladin goes in, hits him one time and, and the boss is dead. But since Leroy didn't even make it to the boss fog because he was fucked up with the wheel skeletons, which can be painful, uh, yeah. Funky cold Modena. So again, we don't want to fight and we're going back from where we came. Hopefully without dying. Fuck you. Fuck you too. Could you please I'm a doctor, let me through. Mm -hmm. Now let's run. A speedrunner wouldn't even rest at the first bonfire. A speedrunner would rest at Firelink and as soon as they killed Pinwheel, they would uh, Homeward Bone back to Firelink Shrine. Easy as that. But, like I said, I'm not really much of a speedrunner. I know some tactics, but you have to train a lot. I think they invest quite some time to get as good as they are. And sadly I do not have this time. Yeah, now the bonfire is... Yeah, retreat. This is my home. You're not invited here. Go back. Go back. Be a good skeleton. Fine. Thank you. Okay, um, we're gonna spend some more souls. I think I'll still push endurance. And what else? What's the recording time? 10 minutes. Okay. With all my chit chat, not a bad time. Let's see. Modify equipment. Let's push this a little bit.
Uh, what we can do, which shouldn't take too long, we can visit an old place, back to the roots. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this. So you see, the guys and the girl are now gone. They now entered the catacombs to accomplish their mission. Good luck with that. And we... We're gonna go back to the Undead Asylum. But first we have to collect an item here. Don't fuck this up. Thank you. The times I fell on this roll jump thing are countless in my early days of playing Dark Souls. Are really countless. So, okay. Yo, there's the crow. Another item, just a soul. Yes, yes. Somebody's sleeping in our pool, and I'm not amused. We'll meet him sooner or later. I think in the next episode it will be time. So now we, we have uh, collected a key that we need in the Undead Asylum. Uh, there is a door which was locked, which we could not open. But now we have the tools to do it. So let's see, don't fuck this up. Nice. That's when I told you, if you remember, uh, I told you to look at these uh, at the staircase here and whenever you see something like this in a souls game it will mean pretty much definitely that you can go there uh, curl up like a ball and let's wait let's wait epic cutscene incoming in around the next hour maybe and still we wait. Yay. Okay, welcome back to the Undead Asylum, and nothing is like it was. What are these guys doing here? Let's hope that we don't die here, that would be really embarrassing. But since these are all torch wheelers, I have a bad feeling. He tried. He tried too. <laughs> you fuckers. You never give up. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, and the last one. Last torch wheeler, at least. Come on. Yeah, don't jump at me because I'm faster. Uh, we'll visit the crow after we're finished here. I don't want to fuck up and fall down to my death. So there is another two guys waiting for us here. Okay, so now we rest here. Can we kindle it? We can kindle this. Why not? We have a humanity. Before we lose it, we can use it. Okay, so we go up there and visit a friend who did not really die die. Yo, Oscar, how's it hanging? Oh, god damn it. God damn it, you're fast. Why are you so fast? So he's gone hollow in the meantime, which is a shame. 
And I might go hollow too if I'm not careful. <laughs> God damn it. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Crest Shield has very good uh, magic resistance. Which will be nice for at least one of the next bosses. Let's kill this guy. This time I'm faster. This time I'm faster. There are more than one boss who inflict uh, magic damage. And some of them, their attacks look like fire, but actually it's not fire damage, but magic damage. Like the one we're gonna see in the next moment. Why are there so many... Have they always been there? Kick you, kill you. So this is the key we found on the rooftop at Filing Shrine. And here we get a ring, which is very important if you want to fight or maneuver through uh, watery or swampy areas where you can just have a walk speed and not a running speed. Okay, let's see. How do we do this? I think this is the first night down here somewhere. Yeah, he's around the corner. Okay. Oh god, don't do it! <sighs> this is one of the things I hate about the Soul series. These guys clipping through walls, doors, whatever. I mean, you you can attack some of them some of the enemies clipping through walls also, but no, no, come, come back up here. Fuck off! Don't you kill me. Uh. What in the world? No! It's me! Last episode, I told you... No, this... E no, last episode, I told you that the sword-wielding Black Knights are easy to parry. Mark my words. They're really easy to parry, like you see. This motherfucker. Okay. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs> okay, what we will do, just in case... No, this one. Maybe we do better with a smaller shield, I don't know. So, okay, trigger you, come on. Go, go, go up here. No. I said no. Okay. And we got the Black Knight sword. Most players love this sword, but um, never really tried it. Are we going anywhere down there? No. The other knight has the item. Why are we here? The one down below, yeah. And there is another boss here. And you can actually see him as soon as you start the game the first time. You can see him walk around. Oh, wow. No, no. Gonna go here. So we have a black knight. And we have a boss. And when you start the game, remember you start from back there in a little cell. He's patrolling back and forth in his little... little? in his arena. But first we have to deal with this guy. Let's see. Nope. No. Okay. Just took me a while to get back into the rhythm. 
And another Black Knight Sword. Okay. The game is spoiling me. Big time. Peculiar doll is like a key and we will need it later in the game to open a secret area. And I wonder how many players, me included, I don't think... No, in my first playthrough I didn't even come back here to the Undead Asylum. How many players miss out on this area and you can get quite some cool stuff there. And it's a pretty nice map, actually. And it has a boss where I already know if I have viewers until that point. Uh, we can't... can we eat a soul? What am I doing? Just to level up so we don't lose it because I have a weird feeling about this boss. Uh, so I've lost on that. Let's see. Um, yeah, in this hidden area there is a boss where most players... The, the boss is optional. You will meet her. But you do not have to kill her. And I know that most players see her as a waifu. And... Yeah. She's got a nice voice. To say the least. She's got a nice voice. St okay. Come on. Give me... One more. And it's still not enough. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, we go for more endurance. We should put some points into our vitality also. We don't need this shield. We're gonna take the grass crest shield. Stamina is essential now. Gonna kill you and your friend. And if you think about how the fuck am am I getting down there? Um, this floor, if you look closer to it, it goes pretty bumpy. So this doesn't look very uh, very much like it would hold up any longer. So, yay. Okay, do we need anything more? No, we don't. Keep your fingers crossed, we're going in. I wanted to roll, but game didn't let me. Whatever. Okay, now let's roll, because he's an explodey guy. And again, explodey. The thing is to try and trigger these animations where he... And then don't run in too early, because... This is close. Okay, game is pretty nice to us. Okay. Get back behind him. Again. Don't underestimate the radius of his explosions. It's pretty pretty big. So don't go in too early or you will... Oh, this could be close again. Okay. He's doing that a lot today. He's doing well, I should do heavy attacks, actually. Get more damage into him. Oh, that's not good. Oh, god damn it, that's not good. Oh, we have been lucky. He's doing it again. Is this far enough? Yes. Okay. You could come a little bit more into the center, please, sir. That would be nice. Oh, shit. And it's a one-hit kill, because I only have 12 vitality. Okay, okay, lesson learned. I find it always a little bit... Uh, ...dangerous if he... 
is too close to a wall and you need to pull him away from that wall if you have to be in front of him. It's always tricky, to say the least. But we'll get him, that's no problem. We're gonna get him. Okay, once again. Uh, he's very sensitive, sensitive to bleeding attacks. So if you have a bleeding weapon... Use it. That's, again, very close to the wall. No, that's... Uh, come a little bit more to the center. Please. Where am I? I have no clue where I am. Oh, this is fucking dangerous. He's again far too close to the walls. Would you please stay in the center? Huh. You're not very cooperative right now. Here you go. Don't get too greedy, don't attack twice. Only if you have a, a fast weapon, then you can risk it. I have a very slow weapon, so we won't risk it. Just attack for attack. Let him do his thing, then go in, do your thing. Okay. Don't go in too early. It's good, now he seems to be stuck in a loop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing again some explosives. Yeah. So this damage he's doing here is not fire, it's actually uh, magic damage, if I remember correctly. So blocking this with with a fire resistance shield will do no good. Using using Oscar's shield, the crest shield will be much better. That's why you get it here. Okay, pretty close. Yeah, yeah. You dumb fat fucker. Now do some more explosive, please. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And another one. Don't get greedy. Even if you think one more hit and he's down, do not get greedy because greed will kill you. Like gravity, like everything else in this game. <laughs> okay, we get him. Second try, at least. Humanity, Homeward Bone, and we get the Titanite Slab, which is the kind of Titanite uh, you need for to maximize your weapon upgrade. This is the last uh, item you're gonna invest to in my case, I want to go to plus 15 on the normal route for a weapon. Um, so I need a slab to go from plus 14 to plus 15. You get, I think, in the game three slabs. One with this guy, one from an NPC if you follow his storyline completely. And... I think one in the DLC, or even two in the DLC, I'm not sure. Okay, we will not rest at the bonfire. Oh, god damn it! I forgot you were here. Ah, my torch-wielding friends. Nope. <coughs> and you? You're completely oblivious.
Okay. So what we can try is if we can exchange the rubbish with the crow. Don't fall down. <coughs> so you can drop items here. And if you drop the right items, um, the crow will exchange them for you. So we will drop one firebomb. No. no. no? That no, that no soft. A firebomb is not soft. Am I so no, the firebomb is uh, exchangeable with the crows in Dark Souls 3. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so where is the rubbish? Now, please don't tell me the rubbish can't also be not exchanged. Okay. Um, I think in the first version of Dark Souls 1 and in Demon Souls, definitely, definitely, um, you had to log out and log back in. Oh, yeah, you have to do it here too. <laughs> okay. What am I talking about? In order to have your items exchanged. So obviously it's the same here. Gonna log out. <coughs> Gonna log back in. And hopefully we get something nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Titanite chunk. Nice. Uh, what else can we drop him? We do not have moss yet, which is a bummer. I think we can drop the sack. I'm not sure, but I'm, I think... Yeah, he's not complaining. So again... Dropping the item. We're at 30 minutes. And we get the Demon Great Hammer. Okay, you would receive this item if you uh, kill the tutorial boss without getting your starter weapon. So with the broken sword you get, if you kill him like that, uh, you will get the Demon Hammer. Okay, I'm... And we're back at Firelink. So yeah, I would prefer if the crow would set us down at the bonfire, but hey, <coughs> what can you do? Gonna roll here, jump there, don't fall down too far. Still snoring down there. So this was a short excursion back to the Undead of Salem. So what we got? We got the ring, which makes us, enables us to run in water, at least in knee-deep water. You can still drop to your death, so be careful. Um, we got the pecu peculiar doll, which is kind of a key item that opens up a hidden world. And we got our ass served by a black knight. This fucker. At least I got my revenge. Okay, 30 endurance is nice. Next we will invest into vitality, so we are not a one-hit wonder for every fucking enemy in this game. <coughs> yeah. We have the right of kindling, means we can uh, we can kindle these bonfires so we can have up to 20 Estus flasks, which is nice, and we will, at least I will need them in at least one or two boss fights. Okay, and that's it for today. A little bit shorter episode today, but hope you still enjoyed it, hope it was interesting. Um, and 
I'll be happy to see you next time. Until then, stay safe and take good care. Bye-bye.